for the sign of Sagittarius, hello and welcome to my channel. So, Sagittarius, recent past energy between you and your person, Knight of Swords, and it's with the Four of Pentacles. Now, the Knight of Swords, it it's actually a fairly upbeat and cheerful type of energy. It can often mean that someone or something desirable is about to seek you out, the Knight of Swords. It can also point to your physical, emotional, and spiritual energy being at a peak. And if you're waiting on news from someone or something, you're likely to like what you hear. So, the Nine of Swords is about being out and about, getting things accomplished. And the Nine of Swords is unlikely to feel like waiting for anything to come towards him or her and this is a good thing provided you do not take on well actually put it this way it's a good thing because the knight of swords actually goes after their heart's desire now it's with the four of pentacles um this card is about holding on to things as you can see in the picture Whenever you hear the word pinnacles in the tarot, that could indicate money, cash, coins, finance, income. So it's showing that this person could be holding on to things, people, money, or maybe a situation longer than it's healthy, longer than it's realistic. Now, when this card appears in a reading, it's definitely a sign that you need to look carefully at what you're clinging to and whether others are clinging to you. In an unhealthy way. Four of Pentacles can point to anxiety, as you can tell by the look on his face. Yeah, can point to anxiety. Maybe about money or clinging to whatever makes you feel secure. But the key here is to try to realize that being anxious and grasping, it does not bring security. So, Sagittarius, what I'm picking up on is that for some of you, <clears throat> yeah, for some of you, uh, you, you, you're dealing with someone that's, um, it looks like they, this person could have been the type that they always called on you. You were their go-to person. Um for for some reason i don't know if it was something that they needed from you or they just wanted to you were just the one that they always called on and it looks like you always came you always came rushing in because a knight of swords like i said the card above the word pass that's a knight of swords this person this person comes rushing in Charging and um, taking action. Uh, so, I'm getting someone was dependent on you, your person. If, yeah, but it was, it felt like it was unhealthy. Yeah, you could have been dealing with um, someone or your, your love interest, uh, she or he was very type of, kind of clingy, clingy, needy. Yeah, and they always made sure you knew about it. They made sure you felt their clinginess and you felt their neediness, whether they intended for you to feel it or not, but you felt it and it looks like you, you always came to the rescue. Yeah, because the Knight of Swords... They come, like I said, this person comes rushing in, cutting out whatever it, whatever gets in, in his or her way just to um, be towards their person or come towards their person. So yeah, there was some unhealthy clinging here. And it looks like you, you were always there for that, for that person's, um, just to fix whatever was the problem. Yeah, so that's a recent past energy, but let's move on over. 
let's take a look and see what's coming up for the two of you. We got the Death card. And it's with this Ace of Pentacles. Now the Death, the, the, the death card, keep in mind, it does not necessarily or even usually indicate physical death. In fact, it is considered irresponsible for readers to predict physical death. And I say this because we're all creatures with free will and such things there, they're not written in stone. This card, it simply indicates transformation and change. Definitely a time of deep transformation. It could be both internally and externally in your life. Maybe some situations, things and people that you have counted on or have gotten used to may no longer be available to you in quite the same way as they once were. Now this transition it can be very difficult for some people, even though the change is nearly always needed. Now, to the Ace of Pentacles, the Ace of Pentacles, um, with this one, you could find yourself enjoying new beginnings on several levels. And these will be very positive new beginnings. So, you could feel optimistic. You could start to feel upbeat, hopeful about the future. Things should be going well. You could be starting something new very soon. This could be an area of work or it could be personally. But either way, it's a really, really good thing when you see the Ace of Pentacles. Yeah, I like the Ace of Pentacles. Um, yeah, so coming up, Sagittarius. Death card clarified by this Ace of Pentacles. So... What I'm picking up on is that, um, yeah, this person, for a lot of you, it's a, it's your lover who's very clingy and needy or they just have some unhealthy, uh, maybe holding on to, and, they're, and then you're always there to the rescue. It looks like you, you could be losing interest with the death card showing up here. Yeah, coming up here. You might, you might be coming to some type of conclusion about this person or the connection. Because the death card can be about coming up, coming up to a, coming to a conclusion. It can be about finality. It can be about letting go of an old, maybe attitude or just um, losing interest, changing. You're changing. You're changing. You're no longer... Um, going to be this person's go-to. You're losing interest. That's what I'm picking up. And you could be wanting um, to start something new. You're tired of this type of energy. It could be emotionally. It may be physically draining for you. Because you're the one that they always, they always call on. Because they know that you'll be there. The Knight of Swords always rushes in. Always. So, you're going towards a new beginning. Maybe towards someone else or just a new situation. Um, you're losing interest. Yeah, that's what I'm getting. So, let's move on over. Let's take a look and see what the challenge is. Okay, so we have the Page of Wands. And it's with this Four of Cups. Now, the Page of Wands... They can be warm, ambitious, high achievers. If this is not an actual person, it can indicate the energy of easy distraction. Try to stay focused. Because this card, it can indicate that things you started some time ago, they're starting to come to life or fruition. It can also show a need for new things, new adventures, new approaches, new ideas. The page brings a positive energy. But, because of the energy of easy distraction and needing to try to stay focused, um, you're going to have to supply the follow-through. Now, it's with this Four of Cups. The Four of Cups, it, it's a card about wishful thinking. It warns us to remember to pay attention to what is now. Count your many blessings that we each currently experience. And not to worry too much about what could be. Because it's really easy to overlook what we already have in pursuit of what we don't have. So be sure that you're counting your blessings. 
don't spend too much time in self-pity or wishing your life away because actually a lot of life has to do with where we put our focus. So try to put your focus on things and people in your life that you have to be thankful for. So the challenge, Page of Wands, clarified by this Four of Cups. So, yeah, I don't know who this is you're dealing with. For some of you, it's a family member or maybe a friend. Yeah, this person knows that they could count on you, but you're kind of tired of it. You, yeah, you feel it's, it's, it's an unhealthy energy. And the challenge is showing that they're reaching out to you again. Yeah, the Page of Wands uh, can be a message bearer. Uh, usually messages of love. Um, this person, this person has passion for you. So for a lot of you, it's a, it's a love interest. Messages of love. Yeah, this person, they're excited about you or maybe they're excited about the fact that uh, they feel you're going to come rushing back in again just to save the day. Uh, but it looks like, like I said, you're losing interest. You just, you just might not pick up the phone. And that's what I'm getting because, I don't know, the Four of Cups occur below the word challenge. It can be it can be a few things. It can be that you're not accepting their offer or accepting whatever they they're trying to get you to do for them or because the four of cups is it can be about not accepting what someone is offering. It can be about feeling rejected. It can be about feeling devalued and in love or someone's just um, wishing things were different. So I'm getting a few different storylines. Your person could feel rejected, devalued, and unloved because they feel that you're losing interest and you're going towards some type of new beginning. Yeah, maybe you they notice how you're changing because the death card is about deep transformation. Or they're reaching out to you. And you could be ignoring them because they're starting to feel devalued and un unloved. So yeah, I'm getting a few different storylines, but that's basically, that's basically what it is. Yeah. So let's move on over and let's take a look and see what the outcome is. So we got the devil card and we've got this knight of wands. Now, with the devil card, you have to remember that no matter what your situation is, that you always have options to choose from. First things first, don't let other people tell you that your options are limited. Now, if you come to that conclusion, be sure you're coming to it on your own. Regardless, it's going to be crucial to remember that you can free yourself from whatever restrictions you feel are holding you back at any time you choose to do so. With this devil card or devil type of energy, you may have to, um, well, you may have the feeling now that you're not in control of your life. Sometimes this happens as a result of your own action, but more often it's a byproduct of inaction. So take action, whatever steps you can, to give yourself the feeling, however slight, of being in control, even if it's just a choice on what you're going to have for dinner. Because small baby steps, they're important also. Now, it's with this Knight of Wands. Knight of Wands, when this card appears, um, it's showing that it could be a time for travel. If you can get away, you should be feeling charged up, full of energy, ready to get things done. The Knight of Wands self-confidence is likely to be increasing, which helps reach towards any goals. The Knights, they're often message bearers. And the messages, they are likely to be positive, maybe related to work or career or family 
or romance. Um, yeah, this Nine of Wands is a very fearless, brave type of energy. It could be Aries, Leo, Sagittarius that you're dealing with. Very confident. It's also an in and out type of energy. The Nine of Wands is the card below the word outcome. But anyway, Sagittarius, the outcome devil card clarified by this Knight of Wands. Yeah, I just, I'm getting a couple of doubt modes here. So for some of you Sagittarius, you've got your own issues. you got your own stuff to deal with. And for you to have someone in your life or in your world or in your circle that's always pulling on your coattails or that's always bringing some type of unhealthy, clinging, needy energy, whereas you always have to save their day. It's just, it's just not it's not working because you you got some things going on yourself with this devil card here. Yeah, you could have some some things uh, some things you need to work on because a devil card could be about addictions, greed, envy, materialism, obsession, sexual lust. It can be about toxic behaviors or toxic energy or just some um, but just some unhealthiness that you know that you need to work on personally. So it's hard for you to try to save someone else's day when you've got things that you need to deal with personally. So, because the Knight of Wands is clarified by this Devil card, for a lot of you, you might, you're realizing that you, you've lost interest in this connection. You want a new beginning or you're ready to go somewhere else, get a new life, a new day. They're still reaching out to you with the Page of Wands here. They're feeling rejected. Unloved because they see that you're changing. Yeah, but like I said, you got your own your own stuff to deal with. Yeah, we can be no good for anyone else if if we're not um, good to ourselves or taking care of us. We all know that, so. With the Knight of Wands here showing, it doesn't show that, um, I don't know, the Death card is saying that you're, you're losing interest. It could be finality, but the Knight of Wands is about in and out. So for some of you, you still kind of got one foot in and one foot out. Or maybe your person realized they need to kind of back off 